everyone. This is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. We've went over a couple of methods to remove blemishes in Photoshop. For example, we can use everything from the clone stamp tool to the patch tool, the healing brush tool, and the spot healing brush tool. Here's another way to remove blemishes with the camera raw filter. So go ahead and press Ctrl or Command J. I'll duplicate our layer. And go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And you'll notice up at the top there's a couple different tools. So if you hover over this one, it says Spot Removal. Click on that one. And over here, it brings up this panel here, this menu. You can control the size. You can go left and right, make it larger and smaller. You can also press the left and right bracket, just like we can do with the brush tool or any tool that uses the brush uh, in the Photoshop Tools panel. You can also feather the edge of it so it has a more subtle, softer edge. And the opacity you can also affect right here. Up at the top where it says Type, well, we have Heal and Clone. So Heal is kind of like the healing brush tool where it's going to mix in a little bit better. And then Clone is just going to take from one area and just place those pixels from the source to the destination area with the soft edge if we, if we set the edge to Feather. So let's do Heal for this example. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So we can use the little zoom tool here if we want, or we can click and drag. Control or Command plus or minus. And what we want to do is select that again. All right. And then we don't want it to be much larger than the actual spot. So let's say we were just going to move this uh, mole or freckle. And so what we want to do is just click and let go. And you'll notice it tells me where it's pulling from. And this is an active effect. So I can actually move it around. So I can tell it, no, pull from up here. Well, that would pull from the hair, obviously, right? So we wouldn't want to do that. We want to pull somewhere where it's going to have similar tone and hue. So something like that. Then I can click over here. And this is you know, problematic. It automatically pulled from the hair. So I want to pull that over right there. And that's better. We can also adjust the size of it after the fact. All right, so I click here, create another one click here, click here. All right. And the difference between this and say the spot healing brush tool or the healing brush tool is that I can go back here and select them and I can change the width and where they're located and where they're pulling from. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Another thing we can do, you know, earlier we added a adjustment layer that was using kind of a curves to show where some of the spots are that we might not normally see. On this camera raw filter technique, we can actually just click visualize spots down here and it actually will show, see we have a spot there and a spot there, it really shows where the spots are. So then we can uncheck it and you know you can make it left or right and experiment but then we can actually left bracket here, click there, Click there, click there, click there. All right. So once we're done, we can click OK. And then here's before, and then here's after. So I think that did a pretty good job. If you think it overdid it, you can always adjust the opacity if you work on a duplicated layer. And that's removing blemishes with the camera raw filter. Hey everyone, this is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques.